Hi, and welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we've been on location down at the Bonnet Carey Pavilion filming the Valero Fishing Tournament. Now, earlier we saw some fishing footage with uh, Wesley Babin, and Franklin was out there and a couple other guys in the boat doing their best to catch some fish. It was an exciting trip for them, and a fun time was had by all. But the best part, of course, is when everybody comes in to weigh in, it's time to eat. Now, of course, we have here with us Jimmy Babin of Creative Cajun Cooking, and he had a huge buffet going on out there. Jimmy, tell everybody what you cooked for him. We had pasta laya and uh, red beans and ham, with emphasis on the ham. Mm -hmm. and garden salad and mixed in motion pudding. And the big hit of the day, every year when I do this, they look forward to the fried chicken leg quarters. Mm -hmm. Well, I rub it down with my smoking frying rub, and I fry 80 pounds in that one fryer at a time. And you'd be amazed how fast 80 pounds of chicken goes when people have been sitting around waiting for that chicken to come out of the fryer. Oh, you having, yeah. having to tell them, just wait a second, let it cool off. Oh, no, 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 that 80 pounds of chicken is gone. Now, you did a couple of batches, right? Right. And the great thing about this chicken is it doesn't need any kind of breading or anything. That smoke and fry and rub, you, you just kind of let it sit in there for a little bit while it's chilling. That's right. And that's all it needs before it goes into the fryer, and it's great. I mean, those people were just... When you it up. fry 400 pounds and it leaves before it gets cold, That's you've right. done something good. That's right. Everybody was asking for go boxes, too. We said, oh, no chicken left. <laughs> you can have some pasta lye to take home. That's right. Because Jimmy makes sure he doesn't run out of food. Now, Jimmy, you cater on site for all kinds of events like this, whether it's for a plant like Valero doing something like their, their United Way fishing tournament or uh, all kinds of things. I mean, right. you, you do stuff almost every day, right? Almost. I have, uh, tomorrow is uh, actually Zapp's Potato Chips, uh, 160 people there, plus uh, uh, Delgado Fire Training School for Honeywell, which is another 50 people. So I'll do both of those together. And then to, uh, the day after that is 150 prime rib dinners for Air Products down in New Orleans plant. Wow, so, and he can handle it all, whether it's just a, the little cookout with burgers and dogs and small things, even though the fried chicken, I highly recommend that, uh, all the way up to the prime rib dinners and things like that. So uh, you can always give Jimmy a call at the number at the bottom of your screen, and you can set up a catering job on site or uh, even here at his facility on the Diversion Canal. You see how beautiful it is behind us uh, with the Diversion, a meet and Flat Lake all right here. There's a pool in front of us for the kids to play in and, and plenty plenty of room, plenty of parking for if you're doing a company picnic or a reunion or anything like that. You can just come on down here to Santa Ma and hang out with Jimmy and, and he sets the trailer up and all, whatever food you want, that's what he can make. That's it. Mm -hmm. and you go to the website and check out all the menu that I have. There's a lot of items on there. If you want to know how to make those items, that's an all meal recipe for it. You go to the recipe book and see what you would like to uh, have the eat out of it. It'll tell you how it's done. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to try to cook it yourself, it, because some of my recipes may be a little larger batch, like for <laughs> two, three hundred yeah. people. Yeah. There is a calculator on the website that you can uh, ca calculate how many servings you'd like to have. Just in case your cast iron pot isn't big enough to take a bath in, you can reduce those recipes mm -hmm. just a little bit. Now, uh, Jimmy, how long have you been doing that event for Valero? Uh, it's been about 12 years uh, since they've been holding it, and I've done it every year for them. Mm -hmm. they, it, they, 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 that was an awesome event. Oh, yeah. yeah and it grows every year. Mm -hmm. you know, it's anywhere between 250 to 400 people every time you do it. Mm -hmm. They had plenty of door prizes and all that stuff. And I think the coolest part of it is as soon as you started taking lids off of pots to put ingredients in it to cook it right there on site, there were people swarming you going, ooh, ooh, please tell me you're doing your red beans. Ooh, yeah. please tell me you're doing the fried chicken. Because they wait all year to come to the Bolero Fishing Tournament to have Jimmy's red beans and fried chicken and all that stuff. And that's no lie. There was a lady who was begging for the red beans. He said, don't worry, I got you covered. <laughs> Now, Jimmy, uh, a lot of things going on right now, getting towards the end of the year, um, gift baskets and all that kind of stuff, hot items right now. Oh, yes. And you can go to my website and pull up the, my seasoning line. I, I got eight different items to choose from on it. Plus, I have some other items like specialty rice and also uh, the gift baskets with the P-Rogues of different types. And I even got an old Cypress Knee gift basket on it. 
So just, just go on the site, look around, and if it's something you would uh, like to have, you can order it right there on the site. That's right, and you can ship it almost almost anywhere, right? That's right. I mm -hmm. ship all over the country. Now, I really like the ones that's the, the state of Louisiana, especially if you send it to somebody who's homesick. There's the Piros and the different uh, purple and gold or black and gold, and then there's, there's the Louisiana-shaped baskets and all that kind of stuff. So pretty much anything, and you can get all different kinds of things in it. You've got the, the back porch fish fry, the gator wing batter, of course the magic swamp dust, and things like that, right? Correct. Uh, you can order any of those items that you want on site. Just this morning I shipped out to an order to Arkansas and another one to up to Illinois. So people from all over the country uh, find the site and ends up ordering it. What was impressive, one of the guys from up north today actually called me and said that he got a free can of dust that I give him at a cookout in Denham Springs and he thought it was so good he, when he was moving around on his job site he was up north and uh, stuck, and he said, this food needs some help. <laughs> so he ordered more dust because he run out. Oh, yeah. Every time <laughs> I'm traveling anywhere, I always have me a little can of dust. I make sure I have one with me because there's a lot of places where the food needs a little help. Oh, definitely. <laughs> now, of course, there's the, the regular swamp dust that isn't uh, too fiery. It's just perfect seasoning, perfect flavor. And then there's the fireman's blend, which is a little bit fiery if you want a little extra spice in there. And, and then, of course, it, like we said, with the gator wing batter and the back porch fish fry and the etouffee mix and, and all of those things that are available on the website to ship out to all your homesick friends or to load up on yourself. And, of course, a lot of these products are available uh, at grocery stores and produce stands and everything all around here locally. And you can also go to the website at creativecajuncooking.com. Now, Jimmy, uh, you said you got zaps coming up. you got all these other things coming up. Uh, what are you going to do for the holidays? Are you, are you going to slow down a little oh, bit? Oh, I doubt it. Uh, come the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays, I'm normally frying turkeys and doing smoked pork roast. And uh, last year, I, I did a little experimentation with soaking my turkeys in a, a ham bacon cure that I have on, on the website for sale if anybody would like to try it. Oh, that's that brine turkey oh, thing, yeah. huh? It's yeah. just like a ham, you know. Uh -huh. The turkey gets like a ham when you smoke it. Mm -hmm. And then you put that dirty rice around it. Oh, don't ask sausage bone. Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, wait, that's making me hungry right now. Okay, so to order fried turkeys or the smoked turkeys or the brine smoked turkeys or any of that kind of stuff, because Jimmy got a huge smoker over there, Again, number at the bottom of the screen or go to the website. The easiest way is just to give Jimmy a call. He's a busy man, but he'll answer the phone and he'll take your catering orders right there. And I'll tell you what, he is very affordable. So don't think that catering is something that's out of your budget. If you've got some holiday stuff going on, go ahead and pick up the phone, give Jimmy a call, and see what he's got going on for you. Jimmy, thank you so much for allowing us to come out to the Valero right. thing. And we had so much fun. And we hope you enjoyed watching this show with us today here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll see you next week.